everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today's talk is just what's on my mind. So I'm going to just <laughs> go off the top of my head. Um, when I was watching, what happened today is it, this came to mind when I was watching Vicki Marie Living Life. She was getting her house organized while her husband John was on, a, I think, a fishing trip. And she had bought a few things to organize her kitchen and her laundry room. And they're putting down new floors, what she's doing. So I was thinking um, all the energy she must have and the ideas that she has running in her head and how much time it's going to take to do this. And she, she was stating that she gets more done when John isn't there, which when Jim isn't here, I get more done if... It was regular if I was still working <laughs> now that I'm on vacation. Life, yeah, no. well, not no. anymore. But I did go upstairs into my what I call my party room. And the reason I call it my party room is I have all of my cooking and um, casseroles and things that I use. Not all the time, but I do use them at certain times of the year. And I have shelves up there, and I also have a craft table up there, and that's the room that the kids put their toys and stuffed animals. And there's some, there is a dresser in there, and there's um, a few of the dress-up outfits in there, which they're supposed to be in the other room, but they're in there. And my drum is in there, and there's a auto harp type thing is in there. But anyways, I went in there to, and a rocking chair. <laughs> I went in there to pick up a little bit, and I'm thinking, oh, this room really needs to be just totally emptied out, because you pick up, it does look neater when you pick up and put the toys, I put all the stuffed animals in the rocking chair, and they look really cute in the rocking chair, they're all holding each other. I dressed a baby doll, because the baby doll was, there was an outfit there, I don't know where this outfit came from, it's not mine. It must be one of the kids brought one of their outfits and it fit but it fit the doll that I put it on so I put it on her and um I did do a little bit but my goodness the time it takes and the energy it takes to do this then I looked at another room and I'm thinking oh good lord so if I was to tell myself if I was young again say say I was still living at my parents house and I was about to move into my own house what would I tell myself I would tell myself to not have so much stuff, to to limit my stuff, stuff to just oh, the bare necessities, because as you grow older, which apparently I'm growing older because I've got a lot of stuff, and the more stuff you have, the more confusion it causes your brain, and this is what it's doing. It's causing me to feel confused in my head because it's like, where do I put this stuff? And then there's things that you hang on to because your kids could use them or your grandkids could use them or they're still good and you really don't want to get rid of them because the minute you get rid of them, of course, you're looking for it. And then you think, oh gosh, I got rid of that and now I could really use it. So that stuff is sticking around. And um, oh, it, was just a, it was just a day of thinking about stuff and not doing a thing about the stuff. <laughs> It's but still you know, there. ten years ago, that stuff all had a very good purpose, and that's why yeah, you kept it. It did have a purpose, and now it's got kind of no purpose. But it could have a purpose again. That's the problem. It just goes back and forth. So if you're, if you were younger, what would you tell your, or if you, if you could go back in time, let's put it that <laughs> way, maybe, and you could talk to your yourself as a younger self, what would you tell yourself to do? that would be different than what you're doing now. That was what was on my mind. Just nothing much, but a lot of stuff. <laughs> stuff, <laughs> there we go. And so Thank I, you, George. Yeah, George Carlin. Carlin and his stuff. That thing just kills me. Well, I will let you all go <laughs> to pick up your stuff or do whatever stuff you want to do. <laughs> and I will go and Put this into the computer and take care of my stuff. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> oh, gosh.